Hi, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerPHP.com. I'm filming this in uh, in my place here, in my own loft, so it's a little bit, uh, doesn't look so office like but uh, I hope you can bear with it. I wanted to put this video together quickly because something just came up and it's about controllers, as in model view controllers. I want to briefly discuss uh, something about controllers that I think that is overlooked a lot of times. Something I had to discover through uh, trial and error myself. So the focus of this video is what exactly is the controller used for and what do you do with the controller at the end of the project. So how do I, how do I start this? This is what it is. We'll back up two steps. One of the holy grails of object-oriented programming irregardless of the language, Java, PHP, ActionScript, whatever. One of the holy grails is code reuse. The idea is that you write your code, you write your objects, and then in one project, and then you can port them to other projects, and over time, you develop this nice library of objects, and you know, you make all kinds of money. So how does this have to do with controllers? So in the MVC framework, we got the model, which is all your business logic, right? It could be your data access stuff. It could be all the business logic, like in a gambling application, you would have your, in your model, you'd have the classes, you have the objects. You would have the objects that dictate how the, you know, the different games work and so on, and the different rules of the games. And then the other end of the spectrum, you have your model. I don't know if this is in frame. You've got your model and you've got your view. The view, of course, is what people see, right? It's the skins. In the PHP world, that, of course, would be the uh, HTML pages or XHTML pages or your Flash uh, movies or Silverlight movies, I guess, if you're one of these strange guys doing the Silverlight stuff. But anyway, so you got your model, all your business logic, data, data access stuff. And the other end of the spectrum, you got the view. And sitting in between is the controller. The controller is the broker. The controller coordinates the communication between the view and the model and so simple enough fair enough let's get back to reuse again the holy grail of object-oriented programming is reuse the thing that i was struggling with way back in the java my java days i was looking at the controller and i was always trying to create reusable controller code and that was a mistake Nobody ever told me this. I didn't. I couldn't find it in any books at the time. I still haven't seen it in any books. So I'm going to spell it out right here. The controller is the throwaway component in the MVC Trinity. Is the throwaway conceptual component or layer in that Trinity. You should not be worried about trying to create modular, abstracted code in your controller. Controller is specific to the application. Model, yes. View, yes. But controller, no. The con that's the point of this video. The controller is a throwaway component. So don't, don't sweat over that. A final note in leaving this video. To create reusable components that you can take outside of project A and move it into project B and C and so forth, my only tip to you is you want to try to keep your objects as simple as possible. As simple as possible. If you do that, you will be able to create reusable components. And I did, and in my last years as a uh, active Java programmer, it became exceptionally, exceptionally useful to me and profitable to me because I had this layer of components that I created over the years in various projects and because they were simple and to the point, I was able to reuse them uh, quite a bit in other projects. To reiterate, point of this video, in MVC, Model View Controller, the controller component, that middle layer, that brokering layer that, that creates the, the, uh, the, the line, the communication between the view and, and the model, that's the, that's the layer that you can not worry about in terms of creating something that's uh, reusable.